So guys, today back on a video on the channel today. We're here for the Brighton of Albion preview between the Cutting Night and Brighton. It's a massive game. This is a must-win game for me. I'll be there vlogging the game like always, so make sure to check out the videos be after the channel, uh, the vlog, the player ratings, and if it's a good game and I've got someone to talk about a lot, I'll do a review as well. But we've got the predict, uh, they've got the preview today, and then the predict the team tomorrow. But before I start off the video, we are 30 subscribers away from 6K. I know 6K isn't a massive goal. But, it's nice to reach a little milestone, you could say. And, 6k, it's getting close to that 10k mark. 10k, I want that pitch up with 10k, I really do want it. And I can only do that by a few subscribing. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, please do. Please do. At the end of the video, I'm going to do a couple of predictions with other people. Uh, I'll speak about who they are and what I'm going to do. Who who the form in a in a minute? But we'll look at Brighton, look at Newcastle, and yeah, we'll start with Brighton. Subscribe to the channel, please. Instagram stuff in the description. Let's get into it then. So some news came out today with Brighton of Albion and their best player, in my opinion, Trossard or her, however you want to say his name, is unavailable for the game, and that's great news for me. He scored uh, in some of the games. He scored against West Ham. He scored a disallowed goal against Southampton, I think, and he's done really well this season, but he is unavailable for the game. Looking at Brighton's results, they are 17th and we are 18th. Oh, no, they are 16th and we are 18th, sorry. Uh, the first win of the season was against Watford, and it was a final win. Drew 1-1 with West Ham, and then lost 2-0 to Southampton at home. Beat Bristol Rovers 2-1 in the Cup, then lost to Man City 4-0, and then they drew to Burnley 1-1. So looking at that, obviously they got that win against Watford, but we all know that Brighton of Albion haven't got the greatest record away from home. And they only got their first, they were in the season, it was their second season in the Premier League and they uh, only won three away games and that was against us. So, uh, do Newcastle and uh, Brighton have some sort of rivalry as well? Because obviously with the news... Of uh, Jamal says coming out and speaking about it, uh, Brighton we've had, we have got a little thing with them. So if it wins, if we do win, it'll be a lot more sweeter than a, a normal result. So as we know, Brighton have got some good players. Uh, Neil Mape, if, if I'm saying that right, he came from Brentford and he's done quite well recently. He got his goal against uh, Burnley, I think, and he got his goal against Watford. So he's he's a good player. Their defence the side, Adam Webstaff from Bristol City. He's a good defender, but can he cut it in the Premier League? It's going to be a... Whoever, if someone's going to win the game, it's going to be a 1-0 or a 0-0 game. All I'm going to say. Because Brighton play 5 at the back, we play 5 at the back. Uh, even though Brighton like to go up and they're a lot more attacking team uh, with Graham Potter rather than Chris Eaton, they're still playing 5 at the back football and that's the extra man backing it. They do play more attack football than us, but up top is where we really need to get the gold because if we do not score, it will be a tough game. We need to get a goal in the first half because if we get an early goal, it can it will probably solidify the game. If we get a goal in the twenty in twenty in around twenty minutes, I reckon we've won it. So we've got to go all out in the first twenty minutes. Uh, but obviously Brighton. Got some good players. They have got one win, uh, two draws, and two losses. We've got one win, one draw, and three losses. But they've only played Manchester City. We've played Arsenal, Spurs, and Liverpool. They've only played uh, Man City. They've got the played Southampton and Burnley, and didn't beat them. So looking at Brighton, it is going to be a tough game. But they have got some key players that. Can win them the game, but thank God that Trossard or however you want to say his name, record signing, is injured. Let's go to Newcastle, and I'm going to a little bit to say about the tune. So as we all know, last time out we played Liverpool, and it was a good, it was a good performance. Jetro Willems with a beautiful goal. He is most likely to start. I'm obviously doing this for my uh, predicted team tomorrow, but I'm gonna wait until Steve Bruce's press conference and he can say his thing, see if he's injured or not. The club just released some uh, training photos and I cannot see Sean Longstaff in any of the photos, which isn't a good thing, so will he start? 
I don't know. The main talking point we all know is Andy Carroll, lads. It looks to be making his return. I simply cannot wait to see him back in his shirt. And Joe Linton's been speaking today with uh, Keith Downey, and he's been speaking about he really wants to play with Andy Carroll up top. And, uh, and, and you think, great. But for the other strikers, Gaynor Muto, if that is the case, does their future stay at Newcastle? Probably not now. But Andy Carroll, if he comes on, he'll get a great response, and he will want to get the goal because obviously he's from up here. It's his debut back at the club. Imagine the scenes. 89th minute. A ball comes in from Javier Manquil from the bench and the ball goes in and Andy Carroll beats uh, Lewis Dunk to the air and the Gallagher end to win a 1-0. Imagine the scenes, lads. Like, I can see it now. It'll be utter amazing. Uh, Newcastle United, uh, Jolinton, most likely sort of top. Almavon needs to get a goal over an assist. <laughs> Seeing it every preview now, but as soon as he does, he'll kick off from there. Isaac Hayden... Most likely to start the defenders. Shaw looks to be fine. The Emil Craft situation. I will talk about it a little bit in tomorrow's video. I'm not going to say if I think Craft, Mankiw, or Yedlin will start, but Yedlin's back at full fitness. Mankiw has been. Uh, uh, I've seen this thing on NUFC blog and they've been saying why Mankiw should start over Craft, and I don't understand why Craft started so many games. Like Craft just walked into the team. And the very things that position is. He's not going to play well, is he? Because he knows that position is. But with Yedlin coming back, will Yedlin play? I am one of Yedlin's biggest critics, but uh, we'll have to see what happens there because obviously Yedlin, I do sometimes not rate last season. He was not good. But we'll have to see what happens. That's me talking about Newcastle, and I'm going to send you over a couple of bit of previews now, but I'll talk about who the previews are from, and I'll just tell you. So I've set up a new Instagram page called super underscore NUFC. Uh, Basically, lads, it's around 10 other fan pages, and they have put together a account where we can all post, we can all reflect on, we've got a chat and we'll talk through it, and someone asked us, uh, I can't remember who, asked us, oh, can we do a prediction for the game being seen? I was like, um, if, if a couple of people send us a prediction, you can do so. Before I show the predictions, go and follow super underscore NUFC. It would mean a lot to... Uh, everyone involved uh, on the Instagram page and yeah I'll leave you off the predictions and uh, I'll just see you all later lads Ok guys this is NUFC Post here and I think we will win 2-0 against Brighton I believe that we're going to win 2-0 as I think Cher is going to have a good game send some good balls through and then Lascelles is going to play well at the back and another solid performance from the likes of Dummett Hayden should be playing well and Longstaff needs to be, it will be consistent, I reckon. And Atsu is going to have another brilliant game. Although, I think Amron will register his first assist and Jonathan will grab a brace and B will absolutely dominate the game for, for most part and they're going to charge through in the last 10 minutes or so. Anyways, that's what I think. What are your predictions? Right, so on Saturday, Newcastle play Brighton at St James as a half five kickoff. And. I think Newcastle are going to win 2-1 um, after last week's performance against Liverpool. I mean, what did you expect really? Uh, it's top of the league, champion to Europe. Um, but, yeah, Jethro Willems, I'd say he'll, that's goal of the month, but that's my biased opinion. Um, but, for Newcastle, I'm saying Joel and, and Almiron to score and, I don't know, like Glenn Murray or something to score for Brighton. Uh but if we get this win, it's uh, very important. Uh, but yeah, follow my socials, uh, which are on screen. Um, and also, I've got a block nose, so that's why I'm talking weird. Uh, thanks, thanks for letting me on your video. See ya. So the next game is Newcastle versus Brighton, and I think this is a must-win for Newcastle. If we don't win this game, I think... If we don't win games against like, the teams like Brighton, I think we could have a chance of going down. But this is a must-win game, and I've said we're going to win it. I think we're going to comfortably a 2-0 win for Newcastle. And I think goal scorers will be Joe Linton and Shaw from a corner, or someone like just Shaw from anywhere. Um, and I think we'll, we'll dominate the game. 
and it'll be an easy win for Newcastle.